All the bikes run at 30 second intervals. Gilles Lallet starts off steadily and his former teammate Cyril Neveu on a Yamaha looks to be going gently. But there's real class and style, not to mention a fair amount of skill. Just watch him. Neveu's teammate, Andrea Signorelli, is a service support bike. Should his teammates have trouble of any sort, it's his job to get them going, even if it means sacrificing bits of his machine. At the end of the Tozur Gadama stage, the fast Italian, Claudio Toruzzi, holds the leading bike position on his Kajiva. As the cars head towards the border at Lozo, Jackie X moves ahead of Guy Frecklin. In fact, he's two minutes in front as the cars tackle the unknown hazards of Libya. When Algeria became unavailable to the rally organisers because of a war, Colonel Gaddafi of Libya was approached. He agreed to the rally going through, and although many drivers wondered what the sections would offer, the Libyan route was regarded as a great success, with friendly officials offering cola and cakes at the border crossing. Sean Da Silva and Daniel Toma tackle the rugged scenery in their Nikon car. They get 10th fastest time on the day stage. Teammate Latigue was fastest Mitsubishi, while Patrick Tombe and Dominique Lemoyne's citizen Pajero was eighth. But Tombe was driving cautiously, his first off-road event for seven months. Barry Lee and Ted Tolman were happy further down the field. They said they were not going to drive fast, certainly not at this stage, and they wanted to get as far as possible into Africa without problems, ready to strike when the rally neared the end. They are certainly taking it sensibly here and going for a finish. But others were well and truly finished. The rough going was already taking its toll. Two cars were burnt out. This Toyota FT45 of Jacques Julien was on its second Paris-Dakar. Even the liaison sections into Libya had been as hard as any stage, and they saw the end of many a bike rider and a number of cars. Now it was time for a Libyan special stage, all 469 kilometers across Hamalat al-Hamra to Idri. Ari Vatnan and his Peugeot 405 are both now in good shape. The Spanish penalties have been cancelled and his car has been rebuilt. The Peugeots and the Mitsubishis are now setting a scorching pace at the head of the field. But somewhat further back, the drivers are settling at their own pace. The tollman is giving no trouble as Barry Lee tiptoes through the sand dunes. Ahead of the cars, the two-wheel brigade are going great guns. Can you imagine holding a conversation at 160 kilometers an hour as you charge across the Libyan desert? Cyril Neveu is leading the Chesterfield Yamaha charge. Having won the bike section of Paris-Dakar an amazing five times, he's a man to be reckoned with and rises to the occasion. Oh, those leg muscles. Thierry Magnaldi is sitting comfortably on his lonely Rothmans Honda. And it's back to close company in the dreaded dunes. Everyone treats this section with caution, but even so, it's easy to fall out. Falling over is easy, the hardest part is getting that heavy bike upright.